dear friends when you say consolidated tax invoice what do you mean this consolidated tax invoice concept accepted under the provisions of the gst law where a supplier being a registered person under the gst very small nature assume a scenario i am mr ramachandran i am carrying supply of goods having a small kirana shop ramachandran and company i am a very small person dealing with small small value of transactions number wise two transactions small person dealing with more number of transactions where the value per transaction does not exceed rupees 200 i am running a kirana shop or i am mr rafi i open a particular tea stall rafi tea stall where i am selling or providing services of the particular let us say tea coffee in my restaurant nothing else are there so there are a number of persons especially ca students cma students cs students coming to my place and having that particular cup of tea for their studies and effectively to study for their purpose early morning 4 o'clock if they are coming at early morning 3 o'clock i open the shop for my beloved customers customers are cma ca cs students who are basically unregistered persons if i sell my tea to them hardly how much tea per cup of tea 20 rupees or 15 rupees special tea 30 rupees like that only i am selling number of transactions in a day huge transactions but value per transaction not exceeded 200 rupees at any circumstances in such cases such a rafi toy shop or tea stall whose aggregate turnover in the previous year more than 20 lakh rupees in the state of tamil nadu therefore he got registered under gst law such a rafi tea stall provide the tea coffee to his customers who are basically unregistered persons like csma cs students coming for having the tea in my shop for transaction i am dealing with them only 20 rupees 30 rupees maximum less than are equal to 200 rupees i mean to say uh, not exceed rupees 200 rupees per transaction per transaction to my customers who are unregistered persons not exceeding 200 rupees per transaction such transactions are huge in a day i may be supplying thousands of uh, uh, customers who are coming to my shop for having the tea in that case such a rafi tea shop or prior to that ramachandra and company kirana shop where the transactions huge in number but value per transaction does not exceed rupees 200 in such case whether we require to issue each and every time of a supply 20 rupees 30 rupees 40 rupees uh, supply of transaction going on issue the tax invoices this means a tea shop wala instead of a preparing the tea should always prepare the invoice only customer will go away so taking this into account the practicality the gst council said in the given case in the given case of a registered person who has number of transactions in a day huge number of transactions but per transaction the value not exceed rupees 200 in that case at the end of the day he can issue one invoice for all transactions together per day basis one consolidated tax invoice can be issued such a concept has been granted to whom to a registered person when he supplied to unregistered persons value per transaction 
not exceeded rupees 200 in that case those transactions may be 100 or 200 in a day all put together one consolidated tax invoice i can generate and i suppose to pay the tax on such value huh? which is inclusive basis whatever maybe per per day transactions uh, let us say 250 transactions each transaction not exceed rupees 200 rupees in that case total value for the day i came to know that 10000 rupees for example my dear on 10000 i have to pay gst by preparing one consolidated tax invoice day wise this is permitted when when a registered person supply the goods or services to unregistered person per day transaction not exceeded rupees uh, per, per transaction per transaction not exceeded rupees 200 which i am bringing to your notice consolidated tax invoice a registered taxpayer can opt out of issuing a tax invoice that means not required to issue each and every time tax invoice when the transaction took place can issue a consolidated tax invoice at the close of each day if the transaction value is less than or equal to rupees 200 if the recipient does not require tax invoice or the recipient is a non-registered taxpayer meaning thereby if one of the cma student final student who came to rafi tea stall after having a cup of tea of rupees 30 rupees the student asking hey mr rafi i want tax invoice if the recipient demands though the recipient may be an initial person it is the necessary or a bound duty of a supplier to issue tax invoice so per day transaction per transaction less than rupees 200 for the given case in spite of that mr rafi being a supplier of the tea in the name of Rafi T stall. In that case, if unregistered person being a customer demands, I want tax invoice. Hey, Mr. Rafi, issue. Then, as a registered person, I bound to issue the tax invoice, even for the one transaction where the value less than or equal to two hundred, in spite of that tax invoice should be issued separately. When, when consolidated tax invoice is applicable, means only when a supplier being a registered person supplying huge number of transactions to unregistered persons per day basis where per transaction less than or equal to rupees 200 and the recipient basically unregistered person in that case the recipient not required not demanding any tax invoice in such case for the day transactions per day not exceed rupees uh, per, per transaction in a day not exceed rupees 200 per transaction not exceed rupees 200 such a transactions 100 200 300 taken place in a day for the day you can issue one consolidated tax invoice for example i said no 10000 rupees i came to know for the day i supplied for one day i supplied for rupees 10000 multiple transactions each transaction value not exceeded rupees 200 all my recipient are initial persons no one is demanding any tax invoice in such case for the entire rupees 10000 for the one day of supply i can issue one consolidated tax invoice on 10000 on 10000 inclusive of gst basis i can compute and pay the gst but can issue one consolidated tax invoice yes that means to say that conditions Supplier should be a registered person per day transaction per, per transaction in a day, not per day transaction. Transaction in a day, each transaction in a day not exceeded rupees 200. Per transaction not exceeded 200 in a day. And the recipient should be an initial person. Further, being an initial person recipient should not demand tax invoice. In such case, consolidated tax invoice for the day. At the end of the day, can be issue where one invoice containing the multiple transactions pay the GST as inclusive basis by the supplier. Such consolidated tax invoice is not applicable if you are 
supplier of services like the exhibition of cinema photographic film in multiplex screens to a supplier of services of cinema photographic film exhibiting in multi screen theaters where issue the tickets per day per, per ticket per person less than or equal to 200 rupees the recipient understood person if so for you consolidated tax invoice not allowed to issue separate separately that there what happen no the ticket itself the ticket issue the uh, customer itself is a invoice which is considered as invoice said by the cbic or upon the recommendation of gst council already there's a, there was a clarification cinema photographic film wala namely cinema theater providing cinemas uh, exhibiting cinemas in multi screens they issue the tickets the ticket itself is a invoice consult tax invoice not applicable to the exhibition of cinema photographic film in multi screens amendment in the rule number 46 tax invoice what amendment it is a proviso has been inserted after clause f of the rule number 46 to state that where any taxable service is supplied by or through an electronic commerce operator namely eco or by a supplier of online information database access or retrieval services supplier namely oidar to a recipient who is understood then irrespective of the value of supply a tax invoice issued by the registered person shall contain the name and address of the recipient along with the pin code and the name of the state and the address said address shall be deemed to be the address on records of the recipient sometimes before i told you consolidated tax invoice sufficient to issue where the transaction value not exceeds 200 rupees when you supply to anishta person in that case this is relevant to note if supplier of service e commerce operator if the supplier of service supplying oida or nature services to unregistered person in that case the value of supply immaterial irrespective of the value of such supply what is required to issue a tax invoice issued by the registered person that means to say that separate separate tax invoice should be issued if the supplier is the e-commerce operator if the supplier is a oidr service supplier to unregistered person